Okay, so uh, we're going to hack a digital camera today, and we've got two buttons on the camera. And one of them's a power button, the other's a shutter button. So you've got to push the power button first, and then you can push the shutter button, and it'll trigger the, uh, the camera to take a picture. So we're going to pop those off. Those are metal dome membrane switches. And uh, when we take the uh, tops off of those, we realize that the connections there are, are really small, and it's going to be hard to solder to those. So we're looking at connecting to these four points on the back. That's where the switches wire into the main board. So uh, we're just going to cut the switches off. And we're going to see if we can. Uh, the first thing that we need to do is we need to run power to the camera. So we need to find a way to power it. We're going to try and power it using our, uh, the batteries on our BitsyBot. And so we're going to uh, solder to the positive terminal. That's the terminal that the batteries would connect to. We're going to solder a 22 gauge wire to that. And uh, since it's positive, the wire's red. It's just a symbolic uh, way of representing the red wire. And then we're looking on the back. You can see where the battery connections go. And so we're going to connect to the negative, where the batter, negative battery connects. We're going to just feed our 22 gauge wire there, the black one, and that'll be our negative or ground wire. And we'll solder that in place as well. And once we run uh, 5 volt power to those uh, two wires, we should be able to power our digital camera. And uh, so it's basically extending the uh, connections that we would normally have for our batteries. Now to do the wires for our uh, on-off switch and for our shutter, we're using really small wires. We're using like a, a 30, 30, I think it's a 38 gauge uh, magnet wire. And right now we're just stripping the insulation off of that magnet wire. It's, uh, that is, uh, the insulation is lacquer. So we're just scraping that lacquer coating off and uh, preparing the wire for soldering. Once the lacquer coating is gone, we will uh, tape the wire down to one of our uh, contacts and that will hold the wire in place. Now one of the reasons we're using such a fine wire is that when that solder flows around the wire it won't take up so much space that it bleeds over into the other uh, solder contacts that we need to keep separated otherwise the switch won't work. So we're just going to heat that wire up just a little bit and use some solder and this is a very big tip if you have a smaller tip for your soldering iron that's going to work a lot better. But we just got a little bit of solder on there and let it flow down the, the original solder joint over the wire, and we have a good connection. So we'll uh, do this for our second wire and make sure the second wire is in, in the right position. And we'll continue this again for our third wire. And then uh, there's our third wire there. And again, we're just taping that in place. And it's, a, it's really important that these wires remain separated and that they're not connecting each other otherwise your again your switch won't work and so then we'll do it again for our fourth wire and it takes a fair amount of uh, practice with a soldering iron to get just the right amount of solder on it uh, so that it makes the connection but not so much on it so that it bridges between connections so if you're not very familiar with a soldering iron you may want to practice a good bit before trying this okay so now that we have our wires on there we've taken the tape off we're going to tape them back down to make sure that they stay firmly in place. This is really important because those solder joints are not very strong and if you tug on the wire it'll pull the solder out, pull the wire out and it may ruin your joint. Okay, so we're looking at our uh, motor controller here. We're actually going to attach our ground wire, our negative wire from our camera to the negative or the ground wire on our motor controller there. And then we're going to connect the negative wire from our battery to that same terminal pin on the terminal block. That is the left terminal pin on the center terminal block there. And then we're going to connect the right uh, terminal pin to the positive wire from the battery. That's the 12 volt wire, the positive 12 volts. And we'll connect that to the, the far right terminal pin. And screw that one down. And you can see when we did that the uh, negative wire came out so we're going to need to reattach that, the wire from the battery. And uh, then we're going to take the positive wire from the camera after we connect our reconnect our battery wire, I'm going to tighten that down the rest of the way. We'll take our positive wire from our camera, put it in the center pin, and the center pin is our five volt out. So we should be getting close to five volts to uh, power our camera. So we've got our voltmeter here, and the power is going from the battery to the uh, motor controller, and we're and it's going through that central chip, the 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 little chip there, which is a five volt regulator chip, 
and so it's converting our 12 volts to 5 volts and we're going to put our our voltmeter on the negative pin and then on the center one and you can see that that is 4.98 volts so we uh, we do have the right number right, right amount of voltage to uh, to run our camera and we're going to check our camera too just to make sure the voltage is going uh, on the camera to the camera where it's supposed to be and it looks like yeah we've got 4.98 volts there too and so that's uh, that's more than actually what we need to run our camera but I think it's within tolerance so uh, we've got enough uh, voltage to make things happen so now we've got our two wires here uh, two, two of the wires that we connected and we're gonna try and connect them and see if they're the ones that trigger our uh, power on so if we if we found the right wires we, when we connect those um, it should turn the power on to the camera you should see the L LED or LCD screen light up so let's see if we can make that happen and it looks good yeah that was those were our power wires and they uh, they do power our uh, allow the power to flow through our camera and so now if we want to take a picture we need to take our two shutter wires oh and you can see what just happened there was the two power wires touched the metal on the uh, L298 chip and, and and actually caused them to to connect uh, so it's really important when you're using those wires uh, that you keep them separated so that they don't touch when you don't want them to um, okay so now we've got our shutter wires here and there you go we just connected them and you can see we took a picture so what we're going to do now is we're going to wire up a circuit so that the uh, Arduino can control when this happens when the shutter happens and when the ca camera is turned on so now that we have the wires separated we can wire that to a circuit and control it with the Arduino